Dragon is in auto idle. Auto Idle puts that rocket in a state the flight computers understand before it takes over. And that's making sure the transition to the final countdown is smooth and all the flight computers on board are in sync with each other and configured for launch. We're now 90 seconds away from Ground launch. Gas close out just started. Expect loud venting. And there's the gas close out that Sonia was just talking about. And now inside, 80 seconds from the launch of NASA SpaceX's Crew 11. On count on that, hold, hold, hold. We are standing down for a violation of weather rules. I'll try to stick it to the boarded. So as you've heard over the nuts, that we did just have a hold called at the T minus one minute mark. And that, and that hold due to weather, that was something that we've been keeping an eye on. Our team here in SpaceX and Hawthorne, as well as NASA, we're monitoring that throughout today's broadcast in preparation for launch. But unfortunately, uh, standing down looks to be the case as the weather has created that violation. But we'll continue to monitor and await for the news officially from the teams on the ground as... Uh, that weather violation which to come into play for launch today. Dragon SpaceX, bad luck on weather there. We just got clipped by a cumulus cloud uh, right over the pad, so ended up scrubbing for weather. Uh, with that, you are go to proceed to 5.100 for launch scrub. We'll begin offloading the rocket. Dragon copies all 5.100, too bad, but we'll be ready next time. And there you heard the uh, call up to the crew that unfortunately the weather just not playing alongside with today's excitement of a launch for NASA SpaceX's Crew 11. But we have mentioned a couple times throughout the broadcast today that there are backup opportunities starting as early as tomorrow. 11.43 a.m. Eastern time is what the target time is for tomorrow's next attempt for launch for Crew 11. But it came right down to the wire, Somia, with that T-minus one minute. But uh, you heard on the, uh, on the loops there that uh, it was just clipped, as they said, by a, a cumulus cloud to violate the, uh, the weather rule. So unfortunately, today's launch attempt has been scrubbed due to weather. You know, and there are a thousand different ways that a launch can go wrong. And so we want to ensure the safety and reliability, even if it is a weather scrub. So we will stay with coverage of the crew as we follow them through the egress procedures and make their way back to crew quarters for now. And you said the key word right there, and that is safety, the safety of the crew and everyone involved on this launch and opportunity, because that's what was talked about even in yesterday's press briefings with all the program managers and representatives of NASA, SpaceX, Roscosmos, and JAXA, is that we'll launch when we're ready and everything lines up the way it needs to be. And unfortunately, due to weather, not the case uh, today. But to recap and look back at everything that Crew 11 has done, they walked right up to the T-minus one minute to launch mark as everybody was safe and sound. They went through their procedures earlier today, did soup leet and checks, also did communication checks and uh, we're able to go all the way all to, to the pad climb aboard the uh, Dragon spacecraft and get ready for launch today but again unfortunately due to weather it will not happen and we will target that next launch attempt which again is going to be tomorrow at 11:43 a.m. Eastern time